So, on the previous video we see how to make a weapon manager. Now we will put it to the test. We've already saw some examples for different weapons we can have, okay? Like pistols, pistols that hold a different uh, object, like the knife, in the, the knife in this case, okay? Or the shotgun, although I changed it a bit and it's not holding it uh, uh, on his on the level of his shoulder, okay? But it still works. The pistol with the flashlight, okay? The rifle we saw, and then another pistol, and then here comes the fun, okay? A different rifle with uh, a front handle, as you can see. A different uh, a World War II weapon, uh, assault rifle, I think it's PPS, SH, anyway, where he holds the... He holds the, the rifle, the, the submachine gun from the magazine. Okay, another World War II rifle, and now here comes the fun part. And of course, that is a shield. I can walk around. Now, of course, this is a special weapon. It has uh, some extra behaviors we're going to add. And when I'm going, when I want to aim, okay, it moves. It moves to the side, plays a different animation, and we can play it. And we can shoot as we did. Okay, and we cannot run basically. But we're going to see the, we're going to see how to add the extra new behaviors, and it's not that many. But uh, without adding any new animations, okay, only with the only with the Weaver Manager system, uh, basically the skeleton for the IK system we have over here, okay, we can do a lot of all this stuff and all this cool stuff. And that's the importance of having a workflow and basically a skeleton to work, uh, a skeleton system so that you can work and do whatever you want with it later. Okay, and since this is so modular, we can do all this cool stuff as you see. And this is actually pretty, pretty cool. Now, let's see. Now the shield is uh, the way we created the previous uh, weapons. Okay. We what we were doing was let me go into my third person controller to our weapon manager. We were going and assigning uh, both the weapon model, the model animator. Okay, the AK holder, the right hand target, left hand target, look target, and all the other rest. Now, uh, that uh, leaves us with uh, the case that uh, the IK, which is basically what we are aiming with, okay, it doesn't even need to be uh, under the same offset. So, let me unmaximize this, let me put this over here, so that we can take a closer look what's happening in here and I should probably close the, the cursor so okay <coughs> this has the shield over here uh, enabled now the IK holder that makes basically the gun name or, or character name okay is basically uh, on a different offset than all the other weapons okay and you can see over here and I can place this wherever I want and I have my right hand a key target over here let me make my character aim also okay the way we saw it on the previous videos then I can basically do whatever I want and place that wherever I want okay and even I can do everything I want as you can see he tried the unity 5.4 beta and he ended like this so anyway enough with the jokes so as I was saying 
Okay, we have the right hand uh, target where we want to use. The left elbow, I'm not even using it. Okay, so I'm not even assigning it. Basically, I've assigned everything else uh, that we had on the previous uh, video. I've assigned it just like uh, I would for any case of a weapon. Okay, but the left hand, okay, over here. I have another game object which is empty which follows around the position of the left hand okay and inside that I have my riot shield with an animation okay and the left hand okay target so that we can so that he he's actually grabbing it by the handle okay and I can put it wherever I want it handle okay now this has an extra behavior uh, which are we're going to see and we're going to do slight some um, slight changes into the scripts we already have okay and uh, and basically this I have the disabled game object that we saw in the previous video I've also have it on the target object riot shield okay so whenever this is enabled or disabled the ak the IK target it's going to close you see it's closing the it's closing basically the riot shield it closes everything else over here now the left IK target still updates that's why it's still over there okay so that's how we see it now let's see actually see the extra logic we have now, before we actually see the extra logic we have, let's see the changes. I think we're going to benefit uh, more from that first. Uh, let me find my bookmarks. So, on the Weapon Manager, what I did is uh, on our Close All Weapons, where we initialize it um, from the start we'll be basically closing uh, our weapons what I did is go in because it was kind of getting kind of boring to assign the muzzle particles okay uh, one by one we simply added an array of muzzle particles and we get every particle system that is uh, on uh, that is on the children game object of our weapon model okay and the current weapon okay that we pass from the for loop and then we just simply for that weapon we just simply uh, uh, assign the muzzle with whatever muzzle particles where well, whatever particles uh, the this thing will grab okay now uh, this is basically the one change I did on the weapon manager so that we do not have to assign all stuff because it's getting kind of, kind of boring and the other thing we have changed is in the state manager I've added a new boolean which says don't run okay so whatever the can run has it will uh, override this but I didn't want to actually override directly this so I'm um, basically this boolean affects this one so let's see where we do that and it's on our input handler okay after we take all our input over here we have the the update states and then we say we had it only to do not run uh, yeah if we were not in cover well you will see in the next video what uh, the cover uh, we, where we're using the cover okay and uh, we basically if we're not running just do the walk the previous way so if you're holding uh, the swift key then you're walking but if you have this boolean don't run it's true then we all we always want to work to walk now that's the most changes you'll see into the input handler okay on the next video which is in this weekend you we're going to see some other stuff and we're going to update a lot of uh, the scripts so let's see the the special behavior that the riot shield has okay uh, keep in mind that the riot shield 
empty game object will always have the same location as the left shoulder so that means when you animate your left seal okay I have this it has two animations one when uh, the position we want to have it when it's on idle and one when we're aiming which is basically a little bit to the side now keep that in mind whenever you are using uh, whenever you are doing uh, the animation okay because if I did if I animated over here with this same the, with this position like this then the radio shield or when we start it's going to change this, this position and this will look uh, horrible okay so with that in mind let's go into our radio shield script let me close this now basically we need the animator for the radio shield and the state manager and the left shoulder on start we do get component shield the animator this is the animator for the for the shield okay and the states get component parent state uh, manager okay on enable now uh, because the on enable is uh, is firing the first time you will start the game too uh, you do not want this to have to you want to make sure that you have uh, the states assigned in any case so you will just do a check if the states is null go find it okay and then change the states to run to true because you know, he's holding a seal that means he can just uh, run with a seal right and then on disable we simply change that to don't run equals false now left shoulder uh, similarly we do this in update because we want to get the animator from our parent transform from the top animator okay which has the rig for a character but we need to make sure that this is uh, first the animator is first initialized otherwise we can't just use uh, we, we can't use get bone transform otherwise okay so with this way we simply assign uh, the left so the left shoulder and then we want this transform position to, to always be the same as the left shoulder and then anim set bull aim if we are aiming we want the shield uh, to change its position to aiming and let's see it in action okay this is the idle you see and when I aim it moves around and because I have uh, the left key the left IK inside my shield then it moves that way and it looks like he's moving it around okay and looks pretty good so that's about it and that wasn't uh, really something you that most people will even want but you see that the skeleton we created with the weapon manager it's pretty uh, it's pretty powerful okay now of course this is uh, the animations we could use some new animations for them okay like for the reload you see that it starts breaking down because you probably could reload like that if you're holding a shield with uh, uh, one hand okay and you will see that it rotates around okay you'll see like that now uh, I'm basically going to end this tutorial over here I just want to say case the weapon manager and how powerful it is okay and a little or uh, a little bit of uh, teaser the, in the weekend what we're going to do is create start creating a weapon uh, a cover system okay similar to what you have seen on a lot of games I bet so I'll end this video here don't forget to like and subscribe if you want support you know uh, how to do it in case you don't know that is uh, from patreon or 
if you want to buy complete project uh, from Gumroad. So, I'll see you next time.